hello and thank you for joining in this is goldie again and in today's video i will show you how to manage multiple mailboxes under one gmail or google apps mailbox it is usual that we have more than one mailbox to manage our life maybe our personal mailbox and then our work mailbox and maybe other ones uh, but it's really painful to just you know kind of switch back and forth to manage our emails so in my scenario today uh, I have two mailboxes the first one is my work mailbox which is work at my domain and then the second is my personal mailbox which is personal at my domain dot com now it does not matter whether yours is at the rate gmail dot com or at the rate yahoo dot com and so on the concept is same so what I want is that regardless of which mailbox I'm checking either the work one or the personal one I should not need to switch uh, to another one I should be able to uh, see all the incoming mails in the same mailbox which I am looking at and then when I need to compose emails or reply to my emails I should be able to send from any of my email addresses without need to switch to that mailbox so for that let's do in two steps the first step is let's work on the inbound email or the incoming emails so what I want is that when any email is sent to my personal email address which is personal at my domain dot com that should also come to my work email and vice versa so let's work towards that so for that in Gmail we have two options the first one is pop fetcher what it does is it's a protocol which will go to your other email address and fetch the emails which you have got in that mailbox and put it here in this email box the second option is forwarding of emails where you will go to your other mailbox and put the forwarding rule there saying if any emails uh, come here just forward a copy of these emails to your other mailbox so we are going to configure both of them uh, and I'll let you know which one to use and why so for that let's work on this so I will go to my work one first because I want uh, it to fetch all the emails which are coming to my personal mailbox so for that once I'm in my work Gmail I will go to settings and then I will go to accounts and import and here I have an option of check email from other accounts by adding the pop3 so I will click on pop3 and I will try to configure fetching emails from my other mailboxes which is my personal one you can have maximum of five now if if you're asking when should you prefer forwarding versus pop fetching in case if you need to fetch all the old emails from your other mailbox then go for pop fetcher if you are only concerned about the emails now onwards if you don't care about the old emails then go for forwarding okay so before we configure the pop in this account to fetch from our personal email we need to make sure that in our personal mailbox we have pop enabled so before that I'll just go to my personal one and the settings of this personal one and I'll go to forwarding and pop IMAP click on this and I will need to make sure that enable pop for all mail is checked here and then I can define what happens when my work email fetches emails from this mailbox I would recommend keeping a copy in this one too just in case if you need it later and then save changes now just in case if you are using Google Apps and if you don't find this forwarding and pop IMAP tab here that means that your Google Apps administrator has disabled it so you need to go and request uh, him for that okay so now this is done I'll go back to my work one and add a pop3 account here you go and then give the address of that account so that one is my personal at my domain in your case it can be gmail or whatever whoever allows to use pop 
so I'll click next step now this will be your full email address so I'll put my full email address and then I will put password of that mailbox and each mail server has its own pop server address my personal one is on Gmail or Google Apps and in the in this case my pop server address is pop.gmail.com if you're using Google Apps or Gmail this is your pop server address exactly same pop.gmail.com port number is you can use 995 now the first option is leave a copy of retrieved messages on the server but in in case of pop once the messages are downloaded they cannot be on the server so if do not check this just keep it unchecked else you will get an error the second one is always use a secure socket layer which is recommended to make it secure the next option is label incoming messages as this label which I guess would be would be good so that I can easily identify these last one is whether I want these emails to skip my mailbox and directly be archived and be found in this label I don't want that I want them to be first land to my inbox and do not skip that so I will just keep this unchecked and then I will click on add account now I got an error and I intentionally wanted you to see that I'm getting this error so what happens is now this is this is a Gmail acts weird here and if I go back to my personal one Gmail will say that it has blocked uh, an attempt from a third-party kind of app whether it's not third-party it's Gmail itself so I'm not sure why does it act like this but anyways what we need to do is we need to go to our personal account settings here so I'll go to my personal one and I'll click on my account under my account I will click on connected app and sites click on this and if you scroll down a bit you will see allow less secure apps off now Gmail somehow is considering its own tool as less secure so that's weird but that's how it is so what I need to do is just enable it and saying that's okay I understand my risk so I am okay with this so now what I need to do is and put my credentials again and try it once again and this time it, it went well so Gmail say you are all set now and I should be fetching all the emails from your personal mailbox and we'll be putting it in your work email address but do you also want to send from your personal email box right from your work one and I would say yes I would love to do that so I'll keep on clicking this one click on next step now you can name your account uh, the work one sorry the personal one so you know you can name it whatever so I'll just say my personal account and then make sure you click on treat as an alias uncheck it and if you want to learn more why I'm recommending this just click on learn more click on next step now what Gmail wants is that it does not just straight away allow you to send emails from any email address it wants you to verify that you own that email address to avoid abusing of uh, its system so for that it's gonna send an email to this email address and will ask you to copy the code which it's gonna send there and paste it here so I'm okay with that because I own this email address I'll say okay send the verification code and then in my personal one I received the code I'm gonna copy this paste it verify it all set now let's let's go to my work inbox okay now if I go to my work inbox first thing which I need to check is uh, under settings accounts and import if you see my personal mailbox is configured and it says checking mail so it's gonna check the mails in my personal mailbox and as soon as it finds it it's gonna put it here in my work mailbox so it's gonna take some time because it's it's not like uh, it's like pulling emails from there it's not like 
that mailbox is pushing here so it takes time so when it comes to composing email now when I compose I will see this drop down in my mailbox here I can select whether I want to send a specific emails from my work email address or the personal one which I just configured and if you want to define a rule such as making any of them the default for sending or replying then go to settings and go to accounts and imports and here you will see that you can define what should be the default behavior you can either say that always reply from default address or reply from the same address the message was sent to and I, I'll go with this one so this was it uh, it's still it's still in the process of checking email I guess it's gonna take some time so what I should do is just pause the video and come back when it starts switching those emails. So now after a few minutes, that email which I had in my personal mailbox, this review blog sign-in attempt is now inside my work because it fetched from my personal account. And as uh, suggested uh, to Gmail, it has put that in my personal label. So if I do it, I will be able to find it here. And when I click on it and reply to this, so by default as we configured the reply is going from my personal email account because that that it was sent to but if i want to change it i can change it and send it from my personal or work etc so that was the first uh, method to receive and send emails now if you don't care about the old emails let's go ahead and configure uh, it with another option which is email forwarding and you can click on this link below to see that video i hope it was helpful if you have any questions uh, don't hesitate to put comments below and i would love to help thank you so much